son? How are you gonna look like Fry and sound like an excited fat Brannigan? This battle rapper swagger jack and a gap mannequin. <laughs> Cause I'm animated, you're laminated. Woo! You're the plainest flavor while I'm candy painted like cars tipping on Atlanta pavement. Yeah! You just don't have the stamina to stand with nameless. Think you a beast? I'm a panoramic frame of angry animals in cages. Oh! So I'm just a better addition. You said it, I said it different. I edit the metaphysics. Don't ever go get it twisted. Oh. Go get him a medical specialist and some better writings. I'm getting my second win. In a second, I'll leave you winded. Oh. A record setting attendance, attentive, intending to witness me stomping his dimples in with my Timberlands. Oh. I hope you aren't sensitive or get offended because I'm genuine when I say I'm taking this bitch out like a distinguished gentleman. Oh. But you're a circus act. You never spat a real verse in your life and your personal bio has four words. If Urkel was white, <laughs> I'm perfect, precise, every one of my shots hit. Top tier drops quick, how's that for a fucking plot twist? Oh! You got a bold imagination. You are owed an explanation. So I'm asking you to listen, though I know you lack the patience. What I'm saying is you're the stock poster for oversaturation, and if not that, you were there with the moment that the photograph was taken. Okay. Your mom buys birth control in bulk. She eats the whole package in two days and turns into the Hulk. And your voice sounds like you're being gargling battery acid, which is ironic because I wrote this whole battle on acid. When your tin crust melt through your mantle of plastic, burn the cardboard box that you were planning to cap with, your style's cheap. I see bums with a bag full of that shit while they sleep and seek funds in Los Angeles traffic. Whoa! You act colder than ice. I hope that you're right. You call out Fox, but he would probably break your nose in a fight. I talk about violent shit I probably won't do when holding the mic to detract attention away from my 20 homies that might. Whoa! Your mom gave birth to you like she was taking a well-timed shit. She squatted down and loosened up her belt like this Despite the pain of childbirth, she got wet quite quick Because her pussy's so loose, the baby felt like dick oh, Is that incest? Either way, I'm not impressed or interested I heard one time Uno moved 50 pounds Maxed out Bench pressing I heard at one point Uno was fucking with keys Text message I know Philly is full of G's But is he? Next question <laughs> You can spread the message through your scary little click A Santa's little helper's hoeing Merry little tricks I'm guessing that your family is embarrassed you exist Since life's a poker game and you got very little chips I met your chick She said she's sick But you've given her very little dick She said put something inside me Dan And I don't care if it's a fist <laughs> so I hit her with that tiger uppercut. <laughs> Got buried to the wrist. <laughs> it's like it's like half the time you don't even know where he is. Hey, <laughs> it makes you wonder what kind of drugs his parents did, <laughs> or if they were even there to care for him. <laughs> Yo, it's like when she was pregnant, someone must have hit his mother. Tell Damon Wayne's to come get his brother. Because it's ironic that you're both a handyman and handyman from in living color. <laughs> Die slow! Alright. Lush. What's up, dude? Why is he always trying to rationalize why people should respect him more? I mean, throwing events isn't shit. I've got that in my repertoire. He sucks dick, spends money, and gets in wars on message boards, and basically antagonizes the audience he's intended for. <laughs> He let Cadillac Ron insult his family, then he made him co-host L.A. Wright for assault and battling. Cause you're a bitch. You said you'd push Caddy off a cliff. You fuck your wife, you couldn't even push that fatty off your dick. That's why you waste your cabbage on your catalog of kids, and you yell fucking faggot. Bit his swagger off a of diz, your wife can't breastfeed. All the crackers got her blitz, so your kids are forced to suckle cake batter off your tits. And I choked, homie, I choked, but fuck you. I'll force your top back. I choked in Juan, in Brooklyn, where the Saurus lost at. I'll turn this Mortal Kombat and abort your contract so fast that you spin around like a Goro arm slap. <laughs> and I can tell him how I did some things, involuntary free basing fifth and spring, but he's not listening. He's thinking about cake and other simple things. Or he's flashing back to his sketch menace, gave him a death sentence, raped him and left a stretch message on his colon wall for the next tenant. <laughs> You're a bitch. <laughs> Ugly, fuzzly, pussy, retarded, butt buddy, a butt bundy. We know you're hungry, trust me.
me? You fucking disgust me! <laughs> when was your body switched with Chucky, made really chubby, and mixed with silly putty? I feel like an explorer who just found a different race. A little... A little city of itty bitty pygmies with man titties whose whole bodies have Down syndrome face. <laughs> It's clear that you are a mistake, so tonight I'm using all my hate to finally put you in your place. If you don't want people to make fat jokes anymore, you poor excuse of human waste, then close your toothless face for once in your life and lose some fucking weight! <laughs> See, I was supposed to battle you at the bar exam, but the backseat of his car was jammed with his wife, an even larger man. <laughs> But I wouldn't say he's rapper dodging, and it's much more than his asthma problems and his fat that stops him. It's just he gets distracted often. Every time he sees a Baskin Robbins, he wants to put on a mask and rob him. Alright, what, what I'm saying is that your face looks like it's been mutated due to exposure to uranium. No, no, what I'm saying is that you've got a huge cranium like a Ukrainian stadium. No, no, what I'm saying is that when it rains, you need beach umbrellas in a stretch poncho. So what I meant to say was nice to meet you, young fella. All the Australians call you head honcho. <laughs> they said, they said, you're a trendsetter ahead of your time. You graduated at the head of your class. But to beat me, you must be flexible as fuck, because you might have been thinking with your head up your ass. Ooh. All the substitute teachers would hate you every time they had to take head count. I mean, your favorite East Coast battle rapper is head ice, and your favorite dance is the bank head bounce. <laughs> Conrad, there's certain things that you can't bring to a deadlock. Your arms are too short to box with God, but God, I can't get you in a headlock. <laughs> <laughs> I came to bad blood to make a withdrawal Like a crip yelling slob There will be blood like Daniel Day Your mouth will be dripping candy paint Your head will be sitting sideways My right hand is Paul Wall <laughs> While you're fighting the urge to be a perv Your girl's jerking foreskin Blowing niggas out of proportion <laughs> I'll check my sources, but I heard she uh, swallows so many of newborns, unborns, he calls her blowjobs abortions. <laughs> Please explain! Puerto Ricans are supposed to be good at breaking into cars, you're great, hey! How come when you break into cars, it looks like you punch the windshield with your face? <laughs> Benefit of the doubt, you're probably a male mother. In the eyes of Sarah Connor. Lucky for you, that must be your good karma. Either way, I'll make you a goner. Make you a martyr. Take a katana across your face, horizontal, pull a Hattori Hanzo, and throw your headless body over the fucking Farazano. You know, doing my research and watching the battles, there's a few things I learned from you. Your balls don't play weight for Pat Punch versus Percy. It's like when you battled your best friend, Pat State, and he exposed the whole world to you. If your mind is in your man, I'll use facts to take burden. But I'm going to put all the bullshit aside for a second. Let me talk to you. I'm going to point out your flaws and faults and what's wrong with you. You're a genius on drugs, correct? Well, what's going on with you? Do you get high to hide the demons inside you that are haunting you? Like Bruce B? May he rest in peace. May he rest in peace. And I would never disrespect them. And I know this is a touchy subject, but fuck. There's a rumor that I heard about y'all with. I'm disgusted, Jeff. Don't get upset. Just be real with yourself, because every love that Bruce did, you feel it yourself. Every line on the canvas, Capsule in every tablet You're the worst kind of friend You influence his every habit He got high from within He hid his vulnerabilities And since you taught him how to get high I think I'll teach you about responsibility 
real friends help you make yourself. If I was him as a fake friend, I would hate myself. All the roids and them cocaine, I would hate my health. If I'm the reason my man's dead, I would take myself. No pause and pedal force, I'm dishing it the realest way, cause your actions then are the reason he ain't here today. Now, I told you. I told him I've been crushing you for years. He said that's yet to be seen. But think about it. That's not what we were led to believe. Because you told Hollahan he'd pick your lines and send them to me. Which technically means I won this shit before you stepped in the ring. Oh. So if y'all ain't up to speed, fuck it. Buckle up, adjust your seats, and tell me how the fuck he's not a sucker after what you see. Stop being a faggot, Patrick. Practice what you preach. Instead of acting like you sucker free, show us what the fuck it means. <laughs> I'll tell y'all what it doesn't mean. <laughs> Talking about your boy's brother being autistic and getting punked upstairs after Marv 1 and 3. <laughs> I'll tell y'all what it doesn't mean. <laughs> Letting a battle come between homies just to please the type of people that are fucking up the scene. Ooh. Or standing in the background hovering. Dripping, drinking molten ice, acting like it's a cup of lean, being a drunken piece of shit, disrespecting the people that run the league till security had to tell this sucker to fucking leave. <laughs> now you can say it's no more, Mr. Nice Guy Pat. It's no more anything now. Your lifeline's flat. You'd burn any bridge to win a battle, Pat. That's true. Even your best friend had a pact with you, and you stabbed him in the bat tattoo. <laughs> See, nothing seems sucker free about the stuff that Pat spits. Cause he keeps chucking weak sucker punches. That's it. A bunch of cheap stuff he needs for every sucker Pat tricks. Sucker free? Sucker please. You can suck a fat dick. Oh, that fucked up ass grill must make it harder to eat. It looked like you've been ripping stereos out of cars with your teeth. How are you a boss man down around the 305 when the $20 scale you bought maxes out at 3.5? You, you don't push floor. Hey yo, you don't push Florida Keys. Your bitch ass lives in Coral Springs and it's not the hood when there's no locks, just doors with screens, motherfucker. Oh.